Hey there cats and kittens, today I have a UU battle against iChosen of Smogon. He also has a YouTube channel, but it doesn't upload anything to it, and I think he prefers to go by iChosen, but there's a link to his channel in the description if you want to go check him out, send him a PM for whatever reason. Anyway, I lead off with Mew, and I see he's got a Zorark on his team, and I'm not sure whether he's leading off with it, uh, and I see this Nidoqueen, and I think, okay, well, if he goes for Night Days, he's obviously not a Nidoqueen, and if he goes for Stealth Rock, he's obviously not uh, a Zorark. So I go ahead and set up my Stealth Rock as he goes for Night Days, showing that it's obviously Zorark. Uh, I knew that I, I was pretty sure I could take that. I mean, Mew is pretty damn bulky. Gonna switch out. I'm curious what item he's carrying. I'm thinking maybe Expert Belt, just he doesn't want to give away what he is. I, or, I mean, might be Leftovers, actually, considering I haven't gotten him down to any low HP. Anyway, I send out Tux, my Empoleon. Uh, it's a shame that I waste my air balloon, but I figured, really, I had no other options. So anyway, he goes out into uh, Raikou, and I stupidly go for the agility. I was thinking it might have been a good idea, but really, really, I should have just gone for an attacking move. Um, and now I'm just going to be forced to switch out because I can't one-shot this, this Raikou. Uh, I print Thunderbolt quite well, and I'm hoping that he's choice considering he's not getting any uh, leftovers. Uh, re regeneration, so yeah, I force him to switch out, I go for the sub on the switch, and now I am thinking that this Nidoqueen, um, which is actually his Nidoqueen, uh, so, since I've seen he's got leftovers, I'm thinking it's not in a good position. He goes for Earth Power, um, probably the best move he had, uh, I guess so, Nidoqueens have Sheer Force as well, by the way, it's a shame to run a Sheer Force Pokemon and not have Life Orb, I mean, I understand you want the recovery and everything, but still, I would probably uh, run Life Orb regardless. Uh, then again, I'm not the, necessarily the best battler in the world. So anyway, he breaks my sub. I just am going to go for the Earthquake here uh, just because, um, I mean, I know he's faster, so I uh, figured it was the best move. And so he gets up his rocks, that's fine. Only one, oh sorry, two Pokemon on my team are weak to rocks, but I don't really care too overly much. So now I'm going to be forced out. Uh, now here I make an epic prediction. I was thinking that he'd either go for a water type move or an ice type move. And so rather than send out my Tangrowth, I send out my Empoleon. He was like, damn, that was risky because if, I, if he'd gone for Earth Power, Earthquake, I would have been screwed considering my Air Balloon was gone. Um, here I just go, I was just thinking go for the Grass Knot. Um, but yeah, excellent, excellent prediction for me that he goes for Ice uh, ice Punch. And um, so yeah, so Hitmontop is going to take that hit and I'm going to care. Uh, not going to want to take a close combat. So I go out into Clank. Actually, I was thinking maybe he would Rapid Spin, and indeed he does. He completely forgot about uh, Clank here. So <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. I, I was thinking to myself, hmm, too bad I don't have a Spin Blocker. And then I realized, yes, I do. This is my only team with a Spin Blocker. Uh, and, um, you know, where I, I, well, I don't really consider Clank a spin blocker. Anyway, he gets off Toxic before I can get off my sub, and that is too bad. I do have a Cleric on this team, but if I switch out, then he's just going to be able to spin away the rocks, and while well, Mew could just set the rocks back up, I'd rather not deal with that. So anyway, he goes for the Sucker Punch here, as I go for the Focus Punch. Uh, Focus Punch does, I believe, slightly more than Earthquake, after uh, Iron Fist. So I go for the Focus Punch. It does not KO. Gets him down decently low, though. Decently uh, low enough that I'm thinking Earthquake should be able to deliver the KO. And I'm hoping so. And I'm hoping the Sucker Punch isn't going to take me out. But I am a Golurk. I am bulky. I do not have to be concerned too much. Down to 86 HP. That means that after Toxic, I'm not going to be able to switch out and switch back in. Well, I mean, okay, resist the rocks, but... Really, I'm just not seeing switching out and back in to be a good play. Maybe it would be, though. Maybe. Uh, anyway, Swampert is out, although I'm wondering, based on the damage, whether it's actually Swampert. Uh, sorry, the entry hazard damage. Uh, and, yeah, it is. It is. It's Swampert. So now I see that he doesn't have any Life Orb or Leftovers, and then maybe he's banded. So that would be great. And so I send out Kazulu, and I go for the Sleep Powder on the Switch. So pretty much showing me that he is banded because he probably would outspeed my Tangrowth. So I put his Raikou to sleep. That's great. And so assuming he doesn't get first turn wake up, I should hopefully be able to do a lot of damage. Now he just stays in thinking, what am I going to do? What the hell am I going to do? And I go for Earthquake. He's like, what the hell? What kind of Tangrowth runs Earthquake? And I tell him, I tell him, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, before this battle is done, he is going to really, really hate this Tangrowth. So anyway, 
here I make another really epic prediction. Go out into my Arcanine. Arcanine of all Pokemon. You think, why would I do that against a Swampert? It's obviously not Swampert. Why would you send out Swampert against Tangrowth? Even with Ice Punch, there's a chance I could outrun, depending on what his set is. So, yeah, I get a, the Flame Charge boost, but I'm not... Or no, the, um, so, I get the Flame whatever boost. Uh, I go for the Extreme Speed, because, you know, obviously he's going to send out someone who resists uh, fire. And I manage to take him out with two Extreme Speeds, take out his Swampert. That's sexy as anything. Anyway, I'm thinking, why... So here I go for another Extreme Speed, thinking I'm just going to die to a Waterfall, but maybe Earth, uh, Extreme Speed is going to do enough to this Kendra. He goes for a Dragon Dance. I'm like, why the hell would you go for a Dragon Dance uh, when I'm extreme speeding you? I mean, why? Why, 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 why? And based on the amount of damage that last hit did, I'm thinking this should be an easy KO. He survives, he said, with 5 HP. Um, assuming he's running the standard Resto Chesto uh, Kingdra set, that is actually, it was a min damage situation, and I'll talk about it in the annotations. Anyway, be, barring a crit, well, even with a crit, I wouldn't be able to KO. So now I'm going to die to a waterfall, and I'm in a really bad situation. Um, I'm just hoping that he... Well, okay, I'm going to send out Tux. I should be able to resist his uh, most of his moves. Uh, in fact, okay, so he, if it's waterfall, earth, uh, outrage, I'm going to resist both of them. I survive with 39 HP, go for the ice beam, and I'm hoping it KOs. It doesn't, but I get the freeze hacks. And so it's like, wow, thank you. So that makes up for the fact that I got min damage with extreme speed. Uh, and so now I'm going to take him out. Now, he was really kind of pissed about that. But I told him it really wouldn't have been the end of the world because I would have just sent out my uh, Galvantula and uh, revenge killed with Sucker Punch. And I'm pretty sure that would have delivered the KO. Actually, it might not have depending on a various, various numbers of things. But here, okay, so now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Zorark. He goes for the Night Days, and I'm thinking, uh, I was actually surprised that he asked that, and I was, oh, he's Scarf. Oh, okay. And I was sad that I got taken out, and now I'm thinking, okay, well, gotta go for broke here. I'm pretty sure that my Tangrowth can survive the Night Days, because it is sassy, 252 special defense. This really pissed him off. He was like, what the hell, how did you survive that hit? And I was like, Sassy 252 special events. And I hit my uh, power whip and I win the battle. So great game I chosen. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. So long.